stake, which is up nearly 200. Mike Lee joins us this morning. Biden's out. How do investors play this? Yeah, so I think um, the odds for a Trump presidency since the debate and after the assassination attempt and certainly after this weekend are skyrocketing. And as a result, um, you're seeing less concentration in the overall leadership in the market. So in a Trump presidency, you would hope for lower energy costs, lower regulation, lower inflation, lower interest rates, and a broader economic growth. So with that, you're going to see less concentration of the MAG-7 names into a small and mid caps, which have been rallying substantially over the last couple of weeks. And maybe some money flow out of those big names, and in my opinion, would only be temporary. So Trump looking like he's going to win more and more. That encourages the rotation out of big tech and into second and third tier companies. That's what that's your premise. Uh, uh, correct. Correct. Good companies that need a better economic environment to grow their earnings the way that these big companies have. The big tech companies kick it off tomorrow. Tesla and Google. That's tomorrow. What's going to happen there? So for Tesla, I think it has more to do with what's next for the company. Um, I, I think what you've seen in their last few quarters of earnings is some pull forward of demand of electric cars. So the demand uh, and the new sales, you may see sales declines year over year uh, in Tesla. But we want to know about robo taxis. We want to know about robots and all the other AI cool tech features that are kind of propel this company forward. That's what's good. The stock performance is going to center on it. And in Google, it's all about the cloud and what we're hearing with AI. It's expected for close to 27% earnings growth is the estimates. I wouldn't be surprised if they beat that and they beat that nicely. Uh, it is, um, we are in the age of AI. This is the largest technology upgrade cycle in the history of the world. It's happening on the cloud. It's the biggest players that have the most market share. So uh, I expect great things from Google and so maybe some more money back into this MAG-7. Yeah. But good times ahead for the market. Because a lot of people are predicting some very good results over the next 10 days for big tech. Should I jump in again to Microsoft and buy the dip? Yeah, look, I think this is a great opportunity. Personal you know, financial advice, please. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I think this, this pullback in these big names is a great entry point for people that have missed this run-up uh, in, um, in these MAG-7 names. Uh, Mike Lee, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Derek. Super Bowl again. All right. Lauren's looking at the movers.